What's up guys, Ryushima, Tim, aka Static Boards, here with another quick little uh, tutorial with an add-on for Blender I kind of wanted to show you guys I thought was kind of cool that I was messing with. Uh, it's called Blender GIS, there'll be a link in the description for the download, and there will also be a link to the GitHub because I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know everything and anything about this add-on, so I would definitely go to the GitHub and check some stuff out. But once you get loaded up, you're going to come up here, go to your edit preferences install you're gonna bring in the blender GIS which is what it's called um, why is it not showing up what was going on here oh I'm blind sorry all right so you want to just click it on um, after you click it on you're gonna get a menu right here next to your object tab and it's going to be called GIS. I'm going to click that, go to the web geodata, and go to base map. Leave all this just how it is. Hit OK. Now you're going to get a map of the world. Zoom in to whatever city or area you want to work on. I haven't tried this on like a skate park, so I don't know if it'll model the park or what it'll do exactly. I don't think so, but we'll go by Chicago because it's my hometown. Um... But let me show you what this bad boy is capable of. So I'm just going to do a small area because it does take a while to render. So basically what you're going to do is uh, once you zoom in enough and you can click the mouse in to move it around. But once you zoom in, give it a sec to load completely. You find the area you want to work on. You're going to hit B. And you're going to go ahead and box and section out that area. So we'll do this block here. Hit B. And then once you click and select that, you're going to hit E. And it's going to give you just that area. Even if you zoom in or out now, you got just this area. Once you have this area, you're going to come up here to GIS. You're going to go to Geodata. And you're going to go to Get Elevation. Uh, leave that. Open Topography. Hit OK. Now this is pretty much going to get you the elevation of like the base map of the land and uh, all of the layout of the terrain pretty much. It's not going to really do much. If you see it doesn't just kind of goes weird displacement at the moment. Um, so after you finish with that you're going to come back up here to GIS. Go to uh, Geodata again and you're going to go to Get OSM. When you go there, it's going to give you the options of what you want to pick that you want to bring in. In our case, we'll bring them all in, so just shift-click each one. And then click on Elevation from Object, leave it for the Export Google, and hit OK. Now this might take a sec because it is going to render in a bunch of objects. Um, if you have a lower end PC, I would definitely advise doing a smaller area. I have a decent PC, so it loads pretty quick. Um, and boom, there you go. So now, in this case, you could obviously you would obviously delete all this extra stuff that got made. Like, you know, just delete whatever you want to get rid of and stuff. Uh, when it comes to this, all you have to do is import your... What is it? Your little uh, skater guy. And once you have him in, you can kind of see your scale. So I have it zoomed in weird. Uh, you can kind of see your scaling on it. I'm trying to get him by this building so I can show you. You can already see it's kind of scaled to size. Um, and then my advice would be to uh, take this and when you because when you move it away you'll see it is flat it's the geography geography yeah sorry geography is only messed up on a couple things so like this you know this building or whatever you might have to just move it down stuff like that but for the most part you have your city section so now you can come down here and you can make your own street and make your blocks and make skating stuff and do whatever you want um 
it is a little finicky there is also a uh there is also a way that you can texture everything um i haven't really dove that much into it there's ways you can mess with the meshes the curvature of the whole thing i mean there's a lot you can do um just definitely check out that uh github that i'm gonna post below and yeah if you find it useful cool if not no worries it's just an add-on i found that i uh, feel could be useful for some people i mean even if you're like okay i don't really like this but i like all these buildings right here you know you could just take those buildings and go model your own city over here you know so it, it's just cool because it's like free assets kind of and you yeah it's just blocky assets but you can add all the detailing in by looking at pictures of the actual street that you want to model or if you're trying to get realism or real life but hope this helps somebody uh if not no worries but you guys have a great day i'll see you next time